Welcome to the Don't Call Me Skinny podcast. I'm your host, Coach Sarah J with CP Fitness. I'm an online nutrition coach and trainer who tells it like it is. I work with women all over the world through my online programs. Each Wednesday, I drop an episode dissecting diet culture norms to give you the facts and reality of nutrition and fitness and how they fit into your world. The current diet culture needs to be revamped, and I'm here to set it straight. My passion is teaching you how to take control over your nutrition, fitness, and overall mindset with my no BS approach. Please remember that this podcast is for educational purposes only and should never be used as medical advice. If you like what you hear today, I'd love for you to leave a review, a rating, share it with a friend, and as always, please keep coming back for more. Thank you so much for joining me today. Let's do it. Welcome back, you guys. So excited to have you here on another week, another podcast, another episode. Episode 56, super exciting. So Healthy Holiday Roadmap has launched. We are in, we are grooving. We are in day two, I think at this point. (laughs) So it's going well so far. Very excited. Great kickoff call. Super excited, super excited, super excited. The ladies are already very involved in and doing the thing. They are doing it. They made a choice, took action, and I'm so proud of them, you guys. So I just wanted to give them all a holla to those ladies. Um, all right, so we're just going to be cruising along with that healthy holiday roadmap. I am going to be having some black Friday sales coming up. I'm currently working on those. Not really sure yet what I'm going to do, but... They're going to be epic. So you're going to want to make sure you're uh, listening. Maybe I'll do another podcast thing where I do something for my email subscribers and listeners here. But again, I'm still kind of working those out, digging those through and creating something that's going to be amazing. And more than amazing is going to be valuable for you guys. So I'm very excited to get that ball rolling. So this week, I'm going to talk about something that really... hmm, it seems to be trending. It seems to be trending. And this is a hard one because I see this struggle with clients. I see the struggle with non-clients. I see this struggle with family, with friends that are not clients. I, I have this conversation with people upon people upon people. We are going to talk about lack of accountability. What that looks like when it's just your own lack of accountability to yourself, what that looks like when it's your lack of accountability when you hire a coach. This is hard. This is a really hard topic to talk about because I think it's going to piss some people off. I think it's going to get under the skin. I think it's going, yeah. I don't think people are going to take this very well because this is a hard conversation. Like, it's a difficult thing to talk about. So I will say that I do think accountability is one thing, one of many, but one thing that people think they don't need. They think they know it all. They think they know it all. And so they don't need the accountability element. A long time ago when I first started coaching, something that I used to always ask is, what do you think you need the most help with? Do you think it's nutrition? Do you think it's training? Or do you think accountability. Very rarely, if ever, I don't even know if anybody ever said accountability, which is mind boggling to me. It's always a thing that you don't think you need, right? Like for instance, oftentimes I get clients, I'll get on a call with somebody. I will see you know, people having side conversations that I'm not even a part of or that I'm in on. And it always comes back to the phrase of, I know what to do, I just don't do it. Okay, cool. So you know what to do. So then why aren't you doing it? Well, I'm super busy right now. You see Billy, Joe, and Johnny, they just started, you know, karate, and I just got a lot going on at home, and it's honestly like the busiest time of work, and of course, the holidays are getting ready, and you know how the holiday parties are, and dot, 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 add on, add on, add on, and I just hear excuse, 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 
And I say that not in a mean way. I say that because I wasn't much different. Accountability was hard. I didn't have a coach when I did my journey. I didn't have somebody to be accountable. I had to be accountable to myself. I had to be accountable to myself. That's who I had to be accountable to. And that's harder than being accountable to somebody else. Because I always talk about how easy it is, how easy it is to show up for somebody else and how it's not easy to show up for yourself. <laughs> so accountability to yourself can be very difficult. But we also, you know, frequently talk about it. It's I, I hear the same conversation. Yeah, I mean, I took this class and then I know what to do and then I do the thing and then I just got busy and then I did the thing and then blah, 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 blah. Now, there's always an exception to the rule. There's always going to be somebody that legitimately their plate got like just shit on. I mean, I had that experience in my life when my ex-husband left me, my mom got diagnosed with cancer, I'm raising two kids by myself. Like, this is a real thing. There are times that it's going to be that way where you will have to say, yeah, I got to pause for a second or I'm going to have to let go of this thing over here, but I'm still going to hone in on that. Like, there's going to be moments in life that that is the case and that is hard to even figure out what are you supposed to dump off your plate at that point when your plate is over full. But I think the problem is instead of dumping something off of the plate and scraping some into the garbage to say, hey, today's not a day for that. We just fucking take the whole plate and just put it in the trash and say, fuck it, never mind. Like I quit. This is all too much. No, see, that's not how that works. That's not accountability. So things that I look at frequently for my clients are things like their nutrition. Are they tracking their food? Are they getting their workouts in? And any of that could mean are they walking they're supposed to do if they are if they have some type of cardio are they doing that it could be not freaking out about the scale it could be uh getting in the right amount of water getting your bedtime routine down stuff like this like these are all things that i look at and see what is my client doing this week what are they looking at where are they struggling where do they need support how can i help them that's why we do a check in I wonder how many of you are checking in with yourselves. How many are, are you doing a check-in every day, every week to say, yeah, I'm getting these targets that I'm going for or no, I'm not and why? And then how do I work towards that thing? Or are we just like, fuck it. I don't need to check in myself. Oftentimes, you know, this could even look so much as my client doesn't turn a check-in in. Oh, fuck. Gasp. <gasps> Uh-oh. Well, that's interesting. Because you do have somebody that has you accountable, and then you didn't do it. So whether you are, are going to somebody else for accountability, or you're using yourself as accountability, are you checking in? Are you doing what you're supposed to do? Because at that point, I could just see what is done, what is not done. When I have a client that doesn't check in with me, you want to know the first thing I do? I go look at their food log. Because a lot of times, you have clients that don't want to check in because now they're scared. They're ashamed. They're disappointed. They failed again. And we think because we didn't do everything perfectly, that now, shame on me. I'm just not even going to fill out this check-in. It doesn't even matter. Which it does matter. It does matter because there's so much more to this process than just your food and nutrition or your food is just the same fucking thing. Your food and your workouts, right? We have that mindset element, the digestion element, your energy levels, your mood, all sorts of things that I look at, not just your food. I don't just look at two things. I look at a multitude of things. So when I have a client that doesn't check in, the very first thing I do is go see, oh, XYZ didn't track for six days this week. Hmm, wonder what's going on. Hey, so-and-so, I see you did not fill out your check-in form this week. Why would that be? Hmm. I also noticed you didn't track your food this week. Is that why you didn't fill out the check-in form? Right? So accountability. Are you checking in with yourself? And then what I find more interesting, and this is not just clients, but oftentimes clients will have these revelations or things will happen to them that haven't never happened before. And obviously I work with women. So there's a lot of things that could be going on with women, especially because we have a period. And because we have a period and or don't for some of us, yet we still have hormones, 
So life is fluctuating all the time. So these are some things like specifically my clients will question if they're not getting the results that they want. They'll say things like, am I going through menopause? Do you think this is perimenopausal? Maybe. Hmm. I know it's my hormones. It's got to be my hormones. My hormones are all off. I've got this thing, that thing, this thing, that thing going on. That's definitely hormonal. I mean, maybe. Hmm. I bet I'm not training enough. That's it. I'm not fucking training enough. Okay. I mean, you're training like four to five days a week. I, I, that's pretty solid, actually. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I don't think it's that. Okay. I know what it is, guys. I'm eating way too many carbs. I've never eaten this many carbs before in my life. And as soon as I started eating this many carbs, a scale jumped up like 65 pounds. Oh my God. Um, okay. And the first thing I have to do is take people back down. So bring them back to, to reality. Because the first thing I'm going to do is say, cool, I, you know, yeah, this sounds like this could be something, you know, definitely something that we want to keep our eye out on. But I also want to pose a question. Are you doing everything else consistently? Are you getting in water? Are you getting in quality sleep? Is your stress managed? Is your nutrition 80-20? Oh, fuck. Yeah, so about that. If you can't answer yes to all those things, that's a reality check. That it's probably not menopause. It's probably not your hormones. It's probably not because you're not training enough. And it's probably not because you're eating too many carbs. Unless, of course, you're eating like a dick. Therefore, I mean, that could be a problem. But you could also be eating like a dick because you're not tracking your food. So the reality of that situation is you're not being held accountable, whether it's to yourself, whether it's to me as a coach or a different coach. And then you're the first person to point the finger and say, no, it's because of this thing over there. I think a while ago I talked about the difference between looking in a mirror and a window. And a lot of times we tend to look at windows and like I'm looking outside my window right now and it's actually a beautiful day today in Michigan. <sighs> Thank God there's no snow yet. It's legitimately, I can do all, I can point at a gazillion things out here. There's trees and a fence and sticks and grass and all sorts of car- crap that's outside that I can point my finger at and say, that's the reason why I'm not seeing the results I want to see. When the reality is you need to hold up the mirror and say, That's the reason why I'm not seeing the results I want to see. Now, that doesn't mean that somebody isn't experiencing perimenopausal symptoms. That doesn't mean somebody's not experiencing hormonal issues. That doesn't mean somebody's not experiencing something going on in their training. Maybe they're not recovering enough. Maybe it's too much training. Maybe it's they need to pull it back and just do some walking. It also doesn't mean that somebody's not consuming too many carbs. As I stated, if you are eating too much food that will cause you to gain weight, calorie surplus, science. The reality is though, if you don't have the other things in line, in order where they need to be, you don't get to point the finger somewhere else. If you're not doing your proper check-ins, Again, with yourself. Even if you have a coach, you should be checking in every day with yourself. Am I showing up for myself? Am I doing this thing? Am I, you know, getting in my water? Ooh, I really want this thing over here. Does that align with my goals and does it fit with what I I can, you know, consume for the day? Not permission. It doesn't mean you can't have it. Sometimes it's like, fuck it. Yeah, I don't care if it's, I'm eating the shit. I don't care. those things, those times exist, but they can't happen all the time. You don't get to go out for breakfast and then go out for lunch and then go out for dinner and then go out for ice cream and then say, I'm not getting any results. You don't get to do that. There's no accountability. But remember, you know what you're doing, right? You know what to do. You just don't do it. Go back to the, my always t- take on this is I don't think people actually know what the fuck they're doing. If they did, well, 
what the hell then? No accountability. So that's the reality. We're not showing up. Along with the whole, I, do, I know what to do, I just can't do it, or I just don't do it. Along with the, I'm going to point the finger at everything else instead of showing up and taking accountability for myself. I also see this other thing that we focus on that has nothing to do to do with anything. But yet we're hyper-focused on it. Okay? And this thing that people focus on are things like, I need the best training program out there. Somebody needs to create me the best training program out there. Okay, well, the fuck good is that training program going to do if you don't fucking do it? Or if you don't fuel your body for it? Or if you don't recover properly from it? What, 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 what's it going to do? Hmm, nothing. Or we focus on things in our food, nutrition, like I can't eat carbs. Or I have to consume 300 grams of protein because I have to consume one gram per pound of this and that. And I have to do all these things over here with my food, blah, 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 blah. I can't have this. I'm not allowed to eat that. I'm going to eat this bar full of trash. I'm going to go to the nutrition hub. Blah. Um, well, it's less about that and more about balance. Getting in whole foods. Showing up that way. And doing it consistently again. God, you guys, CP Fitness, consistency over perfection. That's what this is all about. That's what this whole thing is all about. Accountability, consistency. It's all about showing up, right? And then my favorite one that people focus on, it also gives me an aneurysm sometimes, supplements. Supplements are going to be the bane of my motherfucking existence, I just can't with the supplements anymore. You know, I have a, a guy, one of the guys, one of my one of my gym bros at the gym. I'll give him another shout out this week. So one of the guys, he's a younger dude, and he's taken some like pump stuff during the during his workout, you know, to get, you know, fuel, put some water in his muscles and stuff, make make him feel pumped up during his uh, workout. And he was like, Oh, I want to send you this stuff. And now somebody like him who knows what the fuck he's doing, has a proper training program, nutrition is on fucking point. He is somebody that could not worry about supplements. You know, maybe that's the next thing for him to go into that world of supplements. You know, and he was asking me, oh, I, it's got these ingredients. I, w- I want to take a picture of it. I'm going to show it to you and blah, blah, blah. So we had a whole conversation around it. He is a person that is prepared for the stage of supplements. He is prepared for that. of you listening to this podcast do not need supplements. But you're focused and you're so worried about them because you think that that is what's going to get you there. I'm just going to take this fat burner. I'm just going to take this thing over here. You know, somebody today was talking about creatine, and which, by the way, is like one of the most best recommended supplements on the market, specifically only using if you are, ha- are in a proper training program. It's actually one that I didn't talk about on my supplement podcast that I actually should have talked about, to be honest and fair. Creatine is like a staple supplement. There is like the most positive research done on that supplement and the benefits of that supplement, which is great if you are a person that's going to be training, you know, for even three to six days a week and it's consistent and you are doing Supposed to, and your food and your nutrition, and they're the same thing today. Wow. Okay. Your nutrition and your training and your stress and your water, which you got to drink a fuck ton of water with creatine, right? Are all on point. But we are focusing on shit like what's going to make me lose fat? Creatine isn't going to make you lose fat. In fact, creatine, creatine will have your body hold on to water, it'll have it. Uh, you know, it, that's what it does. It puts water in the muscles and hangs out and gives you a pump and does whatever. So it, it, there's a lot of things that it does, but it legitimately will actually could potentially have the scale move a few pounds. When I first started taking it, it the scale went up. It's also one of those ones that you have to take fucking every day, whether you're training or not training, because it is a loaded supplement, meaning it takes time to stick in your system a lot of time. And so if you don't take it every day, it's pointless and a waste of your fucking money. Yet again, supplements can be a waste of money if you are not where you need to be taking them. But again, we're so focused on it. What kind of pre-workout do you use? Does it matter what pre-workout? Are you at a point for pre-workout? 
Or are you just like, all the gym bros do it. Just fucking work out, right? Why need this fat burner? Guys, fat burners don't do shit if your nutrition is shit. And even then, they do like, I don't know. What is it? I don't exactly remember the percentage, but it was a very low percentage of fat that it actually gets rid of. It's like 3%, I think, something insane like that. But yet, here you are. You're like, I'll drop $45 on a fat burner, and then I'll drop $15 a day on a shake and tea at the Nutrition Hub, but I'm not going to pay for a trainer or a coach to help me. Accountability, folks. Accountability. The whole entire point of this entire episode, you have to be accountable. There is none of this. I I know what to do. I just don't do it. No, you don't know what to do. And if you do, if you do know what to do, then you have zero accountability. Zero. And that is the exact thing that you fucking need is accountability. I will be honest, like me and my husband were webcamming this morning. It's, it's, I'm recording this on Friday. And we were webcamming this morning. I had no clue what I was going to talk about. And then I started, you know, talking about some certain things. And I was like, man, he's like, well, I think you found your topic. <laughs> because I was like, yeah, man, this is, you know, starting to bother me. I'm seeing it everywhere. I'm seeing it everywhere. So that is, you know, that's the problem is that there, there is no accountability. And if you're not showing up consistently, consistently, oh, I started, but then I fell off. Why? Why are you falling off? What is, what is so lit on fire right now that it's, you're falling off? You're not a priority anymore? It doesn't make sense to me. There's a girl at our gym. I say girl because I thought she was an adult until she told me she was 17. And I was like, holy fuck. This girl has some serious self-accountability. Incredible. She is a high school student. I've been going to this gym for a year and got April will be two years. So I'm hitting that like 18 month stage at this point, I feel like. This girl's been going there ever since then. So she was a sophomore, junior in high school at 5 a.m. going to the gym. And you want to know what she told me today is interesting. She told me today that she, she does not blend and meld her the other kids at her school because her priorities are not their priorities. They want to sit around. She said they want to sit around and party. They want to scroll over Facebook and social media and the selfies and all this shit. She's like, I have no desire for any of that in my life. I was like, just my job on the floor. This girl gets up at four o'clock in the morning and goes to the gym. Also probably means that she goes to bed early. She's 17 years old. I could not imagine at 17 years old going to the gym at five, like 4.30 in the morning. Y'all, I had morning practice for swim and I wanted to spoon my eye out two days a week. I was like, what the fuck? And that started at six. That started at six o'clock. And I was just like, fuck this. I could not imagine at 17 years old getting to the gym at fucking 4.30 in the morning. That's some fucking accountability. That's self-accountability. She's not showing up for anybody but herself. And you want to know who's going to thank her in 20 years? Herself. That's who's going to thank her for showing the fuck up for herself when she was 16, 17 years old. Wow. In fact, when we were talking in the parking lot, I had to be like, okay, well, I'll let you go. So, cause you probably got to get to first hour kind of soon. And I kind of felt like a weirdo, but what an incredible person to talk to. What an incredible person. It's like, damn. And you want to know what she said to me? She said to me, you got three kids. And I said, yeah. I said, I got two uh, eighth graders and a fifth grader. And she said, wow. And you run your own business? I said, yeah. And she's like, and your husband's overseas. And I said, yeah. And she's like, and so you do all this on your own. I said, yep, I get up and I make sure that I get home because I want to see my kids before they go to school. And we talked about how this is going to adjust because next year my kids go to high school and high school, they're going to be leaving at like 6.45 or some fucking shit in the morning. And I was like, I think I might have to adjust my schedule because that's really early. And you want to know what she said to me? She's like, I bet you get here earlier next year. I was like, yeah, man, that's so early. She's like, yeah, but I bet you do it. 
She's like, you do it every day now. I was like, damn. Just, she just gave me a check. She just said, I'm going to be watching next year. See if you're here in the morning. I was like, damn. But she's right. The accountability I have is right now to nobody but myself. I wake up every fucking day. I do my thing every fucking day. And the only person I answer to is me. So accountability is everything. It's the one thing that you don't think that you need that I am telling you right now, you need. If you are 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, and you have still not figured this out because you know what to do, but you just won't do it, you need accountability. You need somebody going, hey, saw you didn't do this. Hi, where's the thing? Hey, but you want to know what else that person also does? This is the best. They are like, dude, you showed the fuck up today. Fuck yeah. They also acknowledge the times that you do show up for yourself because those are just as important times as acknowledging the ones where we don't. It's got to be a balance. It's got to be some kind of of accountability both ways to acknowledge when you do the thing and acknowledge when you don't do the thing. But I'm telling you now, if you know what to do, you just don't do it or won't do it. You're too busy. You don't have time. You have this thing over here. That thing got in the way. Holidays are coming up. That is an excuse. And you need to start looking in the mirror and taking some self accountability showing up and saying, I'm not showing up for myself the way I need to show up. Stop looking out the window. Just stop. It's not serving you. You must do a check-in with yourself. You must check in. If you are a client of mine, you must check in. I have some clients that do weekly and some clients that do bi-weekly. Some clients don't need a weekly check-in. Some clients just need that little bit of like, hey, other clients need to like a, hey, 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 and that's okay. That's why this is all individualized, as I always say, because everybody's needs are different. There's nobody that's the same. Nobody's the same. So again, you guys, uh, Healthy Holiday Roadmap is launched. It's going. It's in progress. I'm very excited about it. I hope, 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 hope that you guys have a wonderful rest of the week. I will have Friday No Filter coming out on Friday. Otherwise, I think uh, that's about it. Wrapping it up. And keep your eyes out for the Black Friday specials. They are going to be coming. You're going to want them, definitely. So on that note, guys, always remember that every day is a new day to do better, be better, and begin again.